video is going to be about making small huts. Uh, tiny little huts that uh, are very fleshed out on the inside. Like really well designed on the inside. <laughs> oh, wait a second. No, this is just where I'm going to sit so I can feel safe while I do my video. <laughs> All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so today's video, uh, we'll try to keep this pretty simple. Um, I thought I would try to take on, instead of these big builds, which I like doing, I thought I'd put some real hard focus on small stuff, and then we can add these, these smaller things to bigger builds down the line. Um, and the first thing that I thought I felt would be really cool to focus on would be thrones. Uh, generally, they're just they're fine the way they are. They look really awesome. But I thought I could expand on just kind of where you place them Nothing too crazy. I don't want to like break the lore too much. I like the, the way the throne generally looks. I don't think I hide it too much in most of these little builds, but I've come up with 10 throne designs to kind of get your creative thought process going. You can copy these all you want, or you can uh, just use them to kind of think through and maybe come up with some of your own designs as well. But first, before we get into that, I do these little videos live on Twitch. Periodically, if you have any build questions, if you want to talk about builds, uh, you can come over there and hang out with us and ask questions all you want. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you see it on YouTube and you have questions there too, you can always ask them there as well. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for hanging out for my little vid. So let's get started. So here are our thrones. This is our first uh option if you will i've got 10 of them here now generally you can build all of these on a flat surface but obviously what i've done here is i've placed some uh extra bits there put the item stand in first and then placed the throne and then if you want to place an item on the item stand you got to come and do it from the back <laughs> but just using some wood to kind of uh, give it some geometric shapes and stuff and make it nice and even. The flames just kind of add to the whole deal. It's, it's, it's pretty basic, but yet it shows that you give a shit. On to number two. Now this one I thought was really cool because I thought it'd be cool to incorporate that table, that circular bit on the bottom. This was a little hard to do, and if you have questions, I am more than willing to... Uh, put together what I can for for that for sure. But yeah, the uh, the the bottom here is just it's all circular, and I placed the table on one piece of wood, and then placed the blocks around it. That one piece of wood brings the table up just a smidge, so you can see the edge of the table. Actually. Kind of cool and then uh, the archway over the top is just kind of a nice touch which makes this whole thing look a little more extra number three now i wanted to do this one with stone uh generally if it can be done with stone i did it with stone this one just looks really good with the wood and the little birds and the you know uh uh item stand on top but this one can be on stone i, I thought it would be cool to place one that has stone block underneath and then you can add all this other stuff around here essentially we're looking at like a a uh, more elaborate version of this kind of with the stairs for here it's got a, a double framing so these these blocks here in the center they don't actually snap like that i just kind of placed them right on top using shift just like with these and an all stone frame i thought this was obvious an obvious thing that i really haven't seen anywhere it looks kind of like a little hut <laughs> but it does sink in there's places to put food got carpeted floors this this would go really well in the center of like a castle or if you just wanted to have like a place to sit outside i don't know it'd be it'd be kind of rad all stone as much as stone as i could i think the only thing that's wood here is these is the trimming trimming is kind of always 
really good. And then the chairs are actually, you can sink them into a lot of things. They're very forgiving. The throne chairs. This one I thought I would build uh, out of more wood. It's kind of square, and these are all stacked on each other. So they could be smoother. But it actually kind of came out kind of, um, how do I say this? Like it's almost like a wood chair. Like it's one big wood throne. There's probably more you could do to this to kind of give it a more fleshed out or angular feel. But I just wanted to try to make something really straight forward, basic. This one I really like. So it's got the side here. These are all the window, the, the little half doors. And I can show more about those later. A lot of uh, angled pieces going down. I'm kind of into that. And then I've got flames back here. And they light just fine. And you can't reach through the iron to get to those flames. But these doors just open up. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. And I can show with character later. And then here we have uh, essentially all I wanted out of this were two things. I wanted this archway to go both ways and to do something with that. And then I wanted to use the stools as a platform, which actually worked pretty well. The only thing that was a, probably the most annoying was the stairs here. Just kind of have to finagle it right onto the edge. But there's probably more applications for these stools because this looks actually kind of cool. And carpeted it out and then gave it some uh on top. Another kind of stone. I, I, I was kind of going for like a teepee type thing. Maybe something you would find. Like, you know, kind of like a Game of Thrones-esque type whatever. Same thing with the uh, item stand sticking through with the Great Dwarf Shaman. The Shaman's head on top. I think the Shaman is a very underutilized thrown uh trophy it looks awesome oh and this one also is oh no that's not the one that's not the one oh yeah oh and a lot of these are like set in the center that's center of a box center of a box that's set in between two blocks This one as well. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just to give you that extra little zhuzh that you're a badass. This one I thought I'd go crazy with the wood. And all of the wood structures. And it actually kind of came out kind of cool. <laughs> the big stone was basically a gamer chair with the snack tables and crap. Yeah, that's cool actually. <laughs> Yeah, this actually came out pretty well. Uh, this one isn't snapped. The wolf is not snapped. I just kind of had to center it. And you put the wood chair, the wood table in front of it, and it like fits perfectly. And there's birds coming off of that. There's birds coming off of here. There's dragons all behind it. Using the core wood for the angle there. Uh, I really liked this one. It's maybe a little extra, but I really like it. All right, so number 10, here is the magnum opus of all these throne rooms, or these throne chairs. When I was building them, I thought, what if I used thrones? <laughs> it just looks like a creepy, <laughs> a creepy, like, stone room but all of these are thrones <laughs> it's a throne throne <laughs> it's the throne of thrones but yeah you can see back here <laughs> oh man i i do really like this i don't know if it's practical application to literally fucking anything but it does it does, it's got me making, thinking I might make a cemetery or something soon, because it looks really, like, creepery, and these look 
like tombstones really well, to be honest, on the back end. Very underutilized. And they, they don't really snap together to anything, but you can kind of squeeze them into each other. It looks pretty good, to be honest. Even though it's goofy as fuck, it does look pretty good. So yeah, these are our thrones. Thanks for watching the vid. Thanks for sitting through the, the stream. We're going to go play Battlefield now. <laughs>